Prime Minister, Your Majesty. Prime Minister. Your Majesty. Tea. Thank you. Did you come by train? Aeroplane, then car. Oh, of course. For a busy man, every minute counts. But I'm a great believer in coming by sea. Instead of <coughs> three hours door to door, it can take as long as two weeks on the Royal Yacht. Wonderful way to decompress. And as my great great grandmother, who started the Western Isles tour, said, let time slow down so that one breathes freedom and peace, making one forget the world and its sad turmoil. I am aware the comparison between Queen Victoria and me has been made recently in the newspapers and intended as criticism. What people fail to understand is, I see any similarity with Queen Victoria as a compliment. Attributes people use to describe her, constancy, stability, calm, duty, I would be proud to have described me. And speaking of the Royal Yacht, it has now become clear that a small refit, teeny tiny little refreshment and refurbishment is required to keep her in tip-top shape. I am aware the costs for its maintenance are borne by the government, and not by the palace. And so here I am coming to you, Prime Minister, on bended knee for the sign-off. But I'm hoping that will be a formality. I'm just mindful that before she left office, Mrs. Thatcher bequeathed the palace an extremely generous civil list settlement. A deal that leaves the royal family richer than ever before. Given that this deal was designed precisely to forestall any awkward public debate on royal spending, I feel bound to at least raise the question of whether there's a way you might consider bearing the cost yourselves. It's just with the royal yacht being perceived as something of a luxury, there is a danger the palace could be seen to be asking for too much. But she isn't a luxury. Isn't she? Prime Minister, there has always been a royal yacht going all the way back to King Charles II. She is a central and indispensable part of the way the crown serves the nation. And the revenue she has generated doing so is incalculable. But we're in the midst of a global recession. Each penny of public spending is closely scrutinized. I worry that the government spending public money on the refurbishment of a, of a yacht might backfire on us both. When I came to the throne, all my palaces were inherited. Windsor, Balmoral, Sandringham. They all bear the stamp of my predecessors. Only Britannia have I truly been able to make my own. Perhaps for that reason, the connection between me and the yacht is very much deeper than a mode of transport or even a home. From the design of the hull to the smallest piece of china, she is a floating, seagoing expression of me. I hope we can agree that as sovereign, I have made very few requests, let alone demands in return for the service I have given this country. Perhaps the reason I've held back is in the hope that when I actually do, People don't just take it seriously. They do as I ask, without question. So I would like this government's reassurance, your reassurance, that the costs for the refurbishments will be met and for you to inform me as soon as the arrangements are in place. I understand. Now, the Gillies Ball tonight. I have to ask, are you a dancer? Trying to turn the Ukraine into an independent European country.